All right, we're back. We are distracted by the lowrider that you fail to notice, the unusual little man lurking behind the car. He, however, doesn't fail to notice you. The little guy in the trench coat gives you a short head start and then follows you. Larry, be careful. This guy's up to no good. Wait a minute, what's this? How can you be at the door of the music store when you just walked off the screen to the right? That must be someone who looks just like you. Something strange is going on here. Let's follow him into the music shop and see what we can learn. You! What are you doing back here? Says the clerk, skipping the foreign language subtitles completely. You'd better get on with the mission before Dr. Nonuki prevents you from ever missioning again. What are you talking about, Pitch? I've never seen you before in my entire life, says the dorky-looking guy. Besides, you're not supposed to talk to me like that before we exchange our cute little secret phrases. What do you mean, she responds. You just walked out the other door over there. Not me, he exclaims. Hey, wait a minute. Don't tell me you gave the shit to someone else. Um, uh, shh. I'm not sure that is there may be a hope in day ho I may have. Her voice trembles with fear. I'm sorry, he fit your description perfectly and he said the secret code phrases as well. Although come to think of it, he did have a terrible accent. I thought the bad accent might have been part of your disguise. What will I do? Dr. No Nuki don't tolerate mistakes. Her eyes flash with an idea. Of course, if you promise to help me, I won't tell him how you lost the microfiche. Why, you. If you know what's good for you, you'll shut down this fucking joint. Contact No Nukton Island and get the troops starting to find this asshole. They're guaranteed he tells no tales about your little indiscretion. If you can retrieve, retrieve the microfish before he discovers what he has, Dr. Nonuki might even allow you to live a few extra days. Dumb bitch. You're right, of course. You see, if you could follow him while I contact the island by radio telephone. Well, Larry, this is certainly another fine mess you've gotten us into. Not only is the KGB after you for grabbing what was supposed to be theirs, but Dr. Nonuki's beautiful army of henchettes, game show hosts, church secretaries, and bimbos is now hot on your tail. Since we've now learned the worst, we'll rejoin you as you wander through L.A. Alrighty. So we're back with Larry Laffer. And we need to get on our cruise. All right, here we are, the gigantic boat. Let's show them our ticket. Ah, you tell the purser, here's my ticket and passport. Okay, you just made it. Let's take a look at your passport first. Woo, nice photo. Now let's see if your ticket is in order. Ah, geez, another freebie. One of these dudes in marketing going to realize these boats don't sell on wind power anymore. Oops, I'm sorry, it's not your fault. Regaining his composure, he continues. Your cabin will be on deck F, cabin number one. That will be all the way to below the deck and to the rear. This will give you an excellent opportunity to hear the subtle inflections of our diesels. You may enter now. And here we go, sailing away. Rank Pinhead. Feeling good about ourselves. Feeling so good. It looks like you just made it. The ship is almost ready to leave. Get your ass on the boat, Larry, before I punch you in the key. As Los Angeles slips out of view, your thoughts are on your search. Will you find love? Or just keep looking in all the wrong places?
Come on with the fucking music already. Shit. So here we are on the cruise ship. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we got control of little Larry. He's a little tiny white fucking speck. And we're going to enter the cabin on the lower right of the ship. And let's see what's behind door number one. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Says the woman on the bed. Uh-oh, Larry. You've been caught entering someone else's stateroom. Why well, I do believe is that darling young man and my daughter would on TV, says the woman. Good Lord. She's Bachelor Barbara's mom. Poor little Mari got the feeling poorly just as the crew's was about to start, so I decided to borrow her ticket and come along instead. Your mind quickly envisions Paradise Lost. I hope you don't mind. I convinced the purser that it was in his best interest to assign us to adjoining cabins. I'm sure I can make your voyage enjoyable. I really want to get to know you. After I saw you win the lottery show, I thought you were just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. Except for my mister, of course. May he rest in peace. He was a good man and usually quite sturdy, but one day hit a little hard, just couldn't take it anymore. You wonder why it is necessary for you to learn this. Honey, anytime you want to come over and see Mama, just feel free to pop on through that doorway, you hear? She attempts to give you a cute, girlish smile. She fails. Epic fails. Alright, so we're in the fucking room with Mom. That's great. She's not exactly a MILF, but I, we can deal. So, what we got to do at this point is quickly go back into our room and we, there we go. We need mom to fucking leave. We're going to go ahead and save too under a new save game. And say, look who's back, says Mom. It's my little friend from next door. Uh-oh, yep. I've been looking for a man like you ever since my mister had his big one. What do you say we have a little fun? You do like of having fun, fun, don't you? <clears throat> Hop over on that bed, baby. Whoa! Now you can get comfortable on those chromium chains and handcuffs while I sleep in something a little more comfortable myself, she says, opening her closet. Let's see, possibly a little something in mink lined leather would be nice. Oh, shit. Whip, whip, whip. Larry's getting fucked up by the fucking dominatrix mama. And you can see why she's a widow. So that's not a good way to live. What you need to do is you need to come into this room and you know she's not coming back. Open the drawer, look in the drawer, and you see a sewing kit, so get kit. All right, now once you get the sewing kit, Close the drawer and quickly back get back to your room. All right, now we're gonna get this fruit. And stand behind the wardrobe and we're gonna wear the suit. All right, now we're looking fabulous. So fabulous, we'll be back in the next segment.